folks. Hope everybody is uh, safe and healthy today. So, in the last couple episodes, I was showing you that uh, we took a old 80 year old table and uh, took the stretchers and cut them down. And we're making picture frames. And then you see how I biscuit jointed the miters together and clamped it off. I went ahead and I got the second one done. So our next step now is to basically take this clear edge here because we want that to look aged also. And again, there's a, there's a certain way to do that. And basically, I can't show you what I'm using because uh, I'm trying to get it uh, trying to get it uh, developed and patent so because uh, it's a it's a process that I came up on my own but I already got uh, I already got me old patina that I calls it uh, mixed up and uh, there's a few ingredients needed for it and you're also going to need a steel brush a half decent good steel wire brush um, now what that's for is because the old rustic looks the grain is rose the grain is rough so once you cut the material you get a clean smooth edge well we want to eliminate that and we want to turn that basically into that now I know you can't see the rough edge but you'll be able to see it if you do it so I went ahead and already got the, I already got the, the two of them pretty much prepped I'm just going to show you the steps on it all I'm just making sure oh, okay so basically now you can't you can't pretty much uh, you can't pretty much shag up this step because the rougher the grain is the better it is so all you do is uh, you got your frame tipped up you take your steel brush and you're going to press hard and you're going to rub you're going to rub the wood and you'll be able to see the grain opening up and in the corners you just do your brush like this in the corners that way you're getting two of them and you could do this process if you wanted to before you put it together but I like to make it look uniform I'm also rubbing where the glass sits also in the Two, the two edges of the dado. You'll see the big streaks come in your wood, and that's what you need. The deeper the air, the better the air. To give that age look. that done and again we're turning the nice clean cut into 
old age patina. Like I said, I already got this mixed up. You don't need a whole lot. Hopefully you'll be able to see me putting it on. I just gotta stir it up again. And it's not really watery. You don't need a whole lot. Let's see if we can mimic this. And when you're rubbing it in, make sure you get all of the wood color covered. Not much you're going to be able to do about knots. Now it's going on darker right now, but that will lighten up when it dries and it don't take all that long for it to dry because it's only water with a few other things but I've done this in the past and I've uh, I've matched the look of a hundred year old reclaimed wood that I done a, a big job on. A lot of time and a lot of patience. And like everything else, I came up by this, I came up with this idea by accident. I just figured I'd try some things out one day and Lo and behold, this worked the best kind. And don't mind getting it on your hands because it's all natural. There's no chemicals in it whatsoever. Don't matter how dark you go, darker the better, it'll dry in lighter anyway. You just have to wash off after. But that's why I'm going through the back instead of going through the front. Because the back would be sitting on the wall. And if you've got some there that you can't get off, you won't see it anyway. Some places will take it, absorb it in better than others, depending on the density of the wood. You can do this with, uh, you can do this with any type of wood. Oak, maple, birch. Said it's darker now, but it will lighten up.
The only reason I'm doing in where the glass goes is the simple fact is I don't want any of the I don't want any of the light color wood reflecting or shining through the glass. Well, in our case, the plexiglass. Sometimes with this stuff, it's all a matter of trial and error and try to figure out what's going to work for you. A lot of this stuff, you got to use your imagination. Because there's no stain out there that can do this. natural that's a natural occurrence that happens over years and years and to try to mimic that with a regular stain that's on the markets is pretty much hard to do here we go step part done we gotta wait for that to dry while we're waiting for that to dry we're going to I'm gonna go ahead and cut the glass or the, the plexiglass And uh, then after that, we just got a matter of uh, doing the doing the clear coating, and uh, and that'll be pretty much it. So I'll uh, I'm gonna get ready now, and I'm gonna cut up this plexiglass. So we're going to uh, I'm going to make it because. Our picture frames, 11 by 17, 11 by 17. So our dado, where we done three eighths of an inch. So now we're going to be 11 and three quarters by 17 and three quarters. So that's what we should have here. 17 and three quarters, 11 and three quarters. Now I'm just going to make it a little tiny bit smaller so that the glass is not too tight going in. So I'm going to go uh, 11 and 11 sixteenths by 17 and 11 sixteenths. Now I'm 
doing this through the table saw because it's plexiglass. But you gotta take your time, you gotta go slow and try to stay away. Concentrate on sliding along the fence. You gotta keep your hand here to keep the glass down, but keep it far enough away from the blade. And only bring your blade up that it's just up past the plexiglass. You don't want to be coming up too high. So it's just at the bottom of the teeth, which is good. So now we got to do... 11 and 11 sixteenths on the table saw. There we go. Again, you're dealing with power tools, you're dealing with a table saw. So just be careful, make sure there's nothing in your way. Because once you start cutting, you don't want to have to stop. Now always wear your safety glasses. Before, before we do the other one, there's little edges on this here, and you don't want it to interfere with you going the other way with the saw. So this is what's called a laminate file. It's for filing arborite and laminates and stuff, and it works nice on just, all you gotta do is just rub the edges here to get the burrs and the sharp edge off. Careful, don't press too hard because you don't want to break, you don't want to break the corners by pressing too hard. cut yourself. So that one is already good. Now obviously this glass got to get clean.
and this will also make the plexiglass user friendly to to Mike and his mom when they're changing pictures in it and stuff. You got no worries about cutting yourself on the edges of the glass. Now we've got to change the blade to 17 and 11 sixteenths. And when you're measuring from your fence to the blade, you always pick because the teeth on a, on a, on a either a table saw blade, motor saw, skill saw blade, they point off from each other. That's so that when it's cutting, it's cutting both sides of the material as it's coming through. And them two points that points off, if you were to look at a, even a hand saw or a, a table saw blade, if you look down through it, you'll see like a V. And that's the point. And that's what you measure from. You measure from the fence to the point of the blade that's facing the fence. And that'll give you a real accurate measurement. When you're dealing with fine, doing custom work, cabinetries and stuff like that, that little, uh, you're only talking maybe a 30 second or so, but that 30 second can mean a lot between a real nice tight fit and something not uh, looking so really good. All right, so we're gonna cut these pieces now. I am just wanna, got good edges. Get the best part of the glass, here we go. them edges that's drawing in
go. Now, we're just going to flip these over. Hopefully the glass fits down in them nicely. That's one. That's two. So here we go. I got to clean the glass and everything, but here we go. That's that taken care of. So now, you've seen so far, taking apart the table, using the stretchers for to make picture frames and uh, somewhat of a process of uh, how to bring uh, new wood to look like uh, old patina the only thing is I can't tell you the greetings in this can so but other from that uh, we'll be back or I should say I'll be back and uh, the next step is going to be to uh, Make sure everything is uh, good and we're going to clear coat the frames. And I'm just going to use a, a satin finish. I'm not going to be using a gloss. It's just going to be a satin finish because we just want to seal it. We don't want no shine or nothing on it. So that's how that's, 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 that's going to be done. So until then, thank you. I hope you enjoyed so far. And I'll be looking forward to uh, tuning in, seeing you again. And please stay safe and uh, take care.